What's up you guys, so I wasn't recording earlier, um, but pretty much as you can see, um, I'm actually putting the new bag back into the car, so I removed the coil springs yeah. off the shocks. Hi. Um, but yeah, so I removed the coil springs off of the shocks. As you can see, I have this one still taken apart here. Um, this was the bag that's still good. Um, this is the bag that's actually has a hole in it. Um, and this is the new bag here. Um, this was $180 shipped um, off of eBay. So uh, it finally came in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the bag back on top of the coilover here. So actually before I install the bag, I'm actually gonna go ahead and test to see if the bag is leaking. Because the last thing you'd want to do is install the Alright, so I put about 20 psi. The bag has hooked up here to the line. Just putting some soap and water on the fitting to see if it bubbles up. And it looks like it's not bubbling up, so now we can go ahead and deflate the bag and go ahead and install it on the shock. Alright guys, so here's pretty much how to install the bag, just in case you guys haven't seen my video. Um, if you guys haven't, make sure you go on my channel, look for my airbag videos. Um, I have pretty much a full installation on how to bag your car on the Airlift 3P Airlift Management. So uh, go ahead and check that out if you guys haven't. Well, here's a pretty much crash course on how to do a bag over coilover setup. So pretty much you take your shock, you remove the spring, um, get your bag. This is a Aerosport bag from Universal. You pretty much just drop it in the shock like that. So if you see, this is the coilover collar. Um, it's just pretty much flipped upside down. Um, but it looks right side up right now because the coilover is actually upside down. But anyway, if you see, when you lift the bag up, it actually aligns perfectly in these little slots here for you to put a bolt through there. And it even lines up for the fitting to go right there. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm talking about. If you see the fitting actually fits in one of these little slots here. And so does the bolt, it fits in one of these slots here. So that's the reason why you don't need um, brackets, in my opinion, um, if you're gonna go ahead and do bag over coilover setup. Um, at least for the Megan coilovers, they actually fit in the slots here. So you just pretty much bolt it down and it, it's stuck to the collar. You pretty much bolt it down to the collar and you lock it in place with this. Um, like I said, it's my opinion, so I mean, if you guys want to dish out the extra hundred or two hundred dollars for brackets, go ahead. Um, but in my opinion, I think it's this works just fine um, without brackets. Um, it can work; it works perfectly this way. So, uh, yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and bolt the rest of this up, and then put it back in the car. What's up? All right, guys. So the car is now aired out. All the bags are in the car. And it looks good once again. Yeah. Now it just needs a really good wash. 